Hi everybody, just a really quick video on the LG P Lite or GL310 um, game capture device that you can plug into your laptop or your computer to, to capture gameplay and then show on YouTube or Twitch and stream and all that sort of lovely stuff. Just wanted to quickly go over uh, changing the settings because when you bring up the software for uh, the uh, the recentral software, um, you, you want to get the best out of the out of your footage and that kind of de can depend on things like your internet connection the speed of your laptop or your computer all that sort of stuff but if you go into the advanced settings here let me let me show you what i use so uh basically i have a profile that is 12 megabits per second 720 720p and it's at 60 frames a second now with the lgp light you can do 1080p but you can only do it at 30 frames a second and i think it's 60 frames a second on games that make quite a significant difference to the look of your YouTube video. So let's just look at what we've got here. So video saw HDMI, capture device HDMI, microphone. Um, I don't use the microphone um, option because I always record my audio separately. And here we go. So video format MP4, resolution 1280 by 720, so 720p. Video rate 12 megabits a second. Now I know you could go higher, but it seems fine for me. Audio bit rate 128 kilobytes a second or kilobits a second. Um, I think that's CD quality again enough for YouTube. And there we go, frame rate 60 frames a second. Now, if I choose 1080p, you see I can't choose 60 frames a second. But if I go to 720 again, there we go. And then go back into frame rate again. I can make sure I choose 60 frames a second so you get that sharp, crisp look as long as when you edit the videos um, and you're exporting them you export them at 60 frames a second as well now if you're not getting um you can't see that on your uh recentral software it may be you haven't got the latest software so here we are at eva media's uh website you can just do a google search for lgp like downloads or whatever and then go to their downloads page and then with a bit of luck this is showing up I'll select your product series. Here we go. Gaming. Select your product. LGP Lite. And then we should go to download. Here we go. Application driver, recentral beta. So there's a beta there. I think that's the one I'm currently running on. And that will probably solve your problems. So there we go. Now, oh, one final thing I'll add to the end. So just to finish that one off, 60 frames a second, make sure, make sure you choose that. If you're using the LGP Lite and you've got a PS4 and there's no sound being recorded at the same time, it's probably because you're using a headset because the PS4 can only output to one audio destination. So if you're, uh, say, watching your PS4 on a TV or a monitor and the sound is going to a headset, no sound is actually going into the LGP light. So what you need to do is bite the bullet, turn your headset off and just listen to the sound through your TV. And then the, the audio will appear uh, in, in the LGP light file. What you can do if you want to get a bit more advanced is use, you know, just use a headset that's plugged into your TV instead. But there we go. So hopefully if you're not quite happy with the video um, quality from your LGP light, try this 720p, 12 megabits a second, uh, 128 kilobytes a second audio bit, bit rate, but 60 frames a second on the frame rate. And you'll probably find it looks a lot better. Okay, so that's enough for me. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them in the, in the uh, comment section down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.